Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see the Titanic survival prediction using machine learning and data science. Let's get moving into the data set code file. See, the first step in the code file is importing the necessary libraries which was required to solve the or predict the data set which we had. See, I am importing the pandas library, numpy library, matplotlib.pyplot library, seaborn library. Here, the pandas and numpy library are used to deal with the data set. And matplotlib.pyplot as well as seaborn libraries are used for the visualization techniques. Let's go into the first step. Here, we had two data sets. The first data set is called Titanic Train.csv. In this particular data set, we already had the survival data or predicted data. In the second data set, the Titanic to be predicted.csv. Here in this particular data set file, we have to predict the we have to predict the data. We have to predict the data by using the model which we form. And I'm, I am assuming train data as well as predicted data and test data as a unpredicted data or which we want to predict it. See, I am using the command called train.describe. Train.describe. The command gives the command gives the count value, mean value, standard deviation value, minimum value, maximum value, half value, quarter fourth value and three by fourth value of the particular columns which had of the numerical features of the data set and while moving to the next command train dot head in this by using this command you can get the starting five rows of the data set see in this train data set i had a passenger id server weight passenger class name of the passenger sex of the passenger age of the passenger either whether he had a siblings or not and patch ticket number fare the cabin which he, he is in he or he she is in the embarkment these are the column by columns of this particular data set in the same way you can as you you can get the starting five rows of the data set by using test dot head and test describe as 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 before as a train dot describe why moving to the exploratory data analysis see i want to find the missing value or uncorrupted values or unrecorded values in the data set by using the visualization techniques i can easily find this i am using the heat maps from the seaborn library by using the command called sns.heatmap in the particular data set name dot is null open parenthesis as well as close parenthesis by using this command i can easily find the null values see in the age data set as well as the cabin value i had a null values in the same way i am also predicting the test in the test data set null values in the same age in the age and as well as in cabin and some of one or two null values in the fair see the in the cabin null value the cabin value null values comparing with the age is more so so easily we can neglect the cabin column value while moving to the visualization techniques we had count plot pi plot graphs there are many visualization techniques coming to this particular data set i had a survived i had survived data this was predicted data in the x oh sorry train data set see based upon that i am want to know some of the get clarification see i am drawing the count data so i see i want to draw the survivor data based upon the sex whether how many members males got survivor how many member females got survivor you can easily get through it and you how many based upon the passenger class how many members are survivor who you can easily get by using the command given Be, as seen before we can plot many graphs we can plot many graphs by using the visualization techniques while while going to the data cleaning section see i am using the command called train dot info the train dot info gives the data types of the particular column as well as non null values or in the particular particular column i am using the command called train dot is null dot sum this command gives the non null values gives the null value some of the null values in the particular column see i had in the i had age column in the train data set i had 177 
1.77 null values and I had a cabin column in the train data set I had a 687 null values and I'm back at column in the train data set I had two null values based upon that I'm using median and mode methods to fill the null values in it see in the age roughly 20 percentage of data is missing in the out of 889 rows see the so I'm using the median command, medium command and filling the null null values with the median values of the age column. And I'm I am using in place true. The in place true command after making the changes in the data set, making it true. That means it to be in the data set. As well as I'm dropping the command called cabin due to non due to null values and ticket comma name due to categorical alphanumeric or categorical features well in the same in the same way you can go through the test data set while going on to the building a model I am using the train test split from the SKLN dot model selection as the command he is given based upon that from the data set from the data set I am I want x train value, x test value, y train value, y test value. How do you know that? How do you obtain that by using the command train test split? I am dropping the survivor survivor value and I am drawing the all column values comma survivor value in the train data set. And I am using the test size was 0.3. 0 and random state was 101 you, you can use any random state I am using random state called 101 or 101 see after that X train data set like this and of uh, and why you can also see Y train Y test as well as after that training and predicted I'm I am importing the model here I am using the model called perceptron See, I am assuming the logo model is equal to perceptron and I am fitting the x train value and y train value of this. And I am also predicting the x test values by using the logo model dot predict of x test. Simply, see, I am predicting the by, by using the logo model or perceptron. And I had a prediction like this. See, you had a zeros and ways, that means you have survived values. You had a survival values. Let's move into the evolution mechanism. How do you know the model was fit or not? Based upon the scores you had. You had a classification report, uh, accuracy score, F1 score, ROC score, or ROC score. See, I'm using classification report and I'm importing the classification report from SKLN dot matrix. Uh, um, based upon that, I'm printing the classification report be in between the predictions and Y test values. See, I had a Zero's precision was 0 0.91 and one's precision was 0 0.3 and I had an accuracy of 0 0.69. See, this is not the best, but use different types of models like logistic regression, linear regression, uh, ridge regression, uh, classifications. We had classification models, you had boosting, gradient boosting, classifiers models, you had and you had su support vector missions mo models you had use the best one choose the best one and I'm using the perceptor see I am after that I'm importing the see after that I'm predicting the test data set or using the logo model or you had use perceptron dot predict test I am already taking the passenger ID from the test data set before dropping it in the above code you can easily go through the code I always I am going to put the code file in the description go through it and practice it see passenger id is equal to passenger id and server word is equal to the predicted value based upon the login word and the output to the csv file submission.csv and this was the prediction of the titanic data set titanic data set and thanks for visiting don't forget to hit the subscribe button below thank you